Good evening, my name is Garrett, and welcome to Last Call. Tonight's final drink is another celebrity brand. I am i swear I'm, I'm glutton for punishment with these brands. Uh, sometimes you find some good ones, sometimes they're mediocre. However, either way, this is Virginia Black. This is a blend of two, three, and four-year-old whiskey, tending to lean in the high rye area, that is promoted by Drake himself. This tends to be him, his brand that he talks about. Uh, it it came onto the market, it went away, and it's more recently started showing back up without much uh, why, what happened. The interesting thing though, this is a 40% ABV, obviously, uh, but it on the back here it tells us age for two years, distilled in Indiana. So if you're anybody that knows anything about whiskeys, if it's Indiana based, tends to be MGP, which is not a bad thing. Uh, there's some, MGP does some really good rise and really good whiskeys in general, but it's just one of those interesting things. And this bottle looks like it, it gives me that 80s art deco look. And it, it's just so crazy looking. I knew I had to buy it uh, just because of its look and its design. I actually give it credit because it does a really good job showcasing the whiskey inside of it. Uh, without any kind of real stickers. Yes, you have the emblem up front here, but it does a good job showing case and everything else. But yeah, as always, we're gonna be trying this two different ways. First way, neat, no ice, no water. Second way, we'll add a few drops of water, see if anything changes up. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a cologne bottle as well. That's another thing I thought it looked like. Unfortunately, this is just a screw cap and it's just plastic. This was disappointing to me. I was like, man, why plastic? I don't know. That it's, it is, you have to be careful on how you're pouring this because it can be kind of crazy pours because of its weird shape. <laughs> Even feels like it feels cheap. All right. Dark, dark colored. Again, two, three, and four year old blend. I, I don't, there might be color in here as well. It's hard guessing. That's really, I mean, that's Dalmore dark. Like that is not any two, three or four year old whiskey I've ever seen. That is just super dark. Being said, they call it Virginia Black, distilled in Indiana. I'm going to guess there's probably some coloring in here. Let's go for notes. Ironically, ABV doesn't show up on the nose, but you do get an alcohol note. It's not like, ooh, that smells like a strong whiskey, but it get, it's almost like um, like an alcohol cleaner, like something's just recently been wiped down with some alcohol. It's not super strong, but it's there. You get a bit of that vanilla, that bit of oak on the nose, and you could tell it's a rye. You could tell it's a high rye build. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Canadian whiskey a little bit on the nose. Just nice and simple. There's not a lot of characteristics going on there. You get a bit of oak, you get that vanilla. Um, it's unoffensive for the most part. Like I said, that alcohol note's there, but it's not like high ABV alcohol note. Okay, let's go for taste. You can definitely on the taste tell it's a high rye build. Whoa! Whoa, where, what's, what is going on here? Wow, that really changed, whoo. So instantly up front, let me, let me tell you what just happened to my palate that made me freak out. Started off like the herbal rye going on and then it kicked into an 11 with the caramel sweetness, caramel chocolate sweetness. You get a bit of that oak but it tasted like I just took a big bite of a caramel chocolate. Little ABV on the taste, but that, that caramel chocolate doesn't show up right away. It's, this isn't Canadian. I don't care what they're telling me. It just tastes like a Canadian whiskey. It's got that the same characteristics, it's got the same kind of flavor profile, and they might be doing that um, in lieu of Drake. Found out he was—he's Canadian, so 
yeah, that's a possibility. I don't know, but that high rye with that caramel sweetness reminds me a lot of a lot of Canadians. It's actually, it's not bad, but it's interesting. I'll say that much because that you, you get those rye flavors right up front and you're like, oh, it's a rye. But then it's about the time that that word was coming out of my mouth was when it went caramel chocolatey sweetness, like ooey gooey caramel. Like um, I can't even think of a chocolate bar that has like a gooey caramel in the middle. Not like Rolos, but something gooier. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's even lingering sweet. Caramel sweetness is, is just here for days. I mean, it's not bad. I'm kind of digging it now. <laughs> I'm third drink into it. I'm like, oh yeah, it's not too bad. <laughs> it's really different. Those rye spices are light enough that you know it's a rye. And then this caramel chocolatey sweetness just overwhelms you. If you don't like sweet whiskeys, this isn't for you. And if you're not a big Canadian fan, this might not be for you as well. I like Canadian whiskeys for the most part. Uh, I've yet to find one that I don't like. This is interesting on a lot of levels though. Especially being a blend of two, three, and four year old whiskeys. Did not expect that. I don't rem I mean, I've had, it's been a while since I've tried this, but I did not remember that. A little bit in there. there we go. Let's add a few drops of water. See what changes up here. There we go. Those other drops weren't full drops, so I was like, ah, just get whatever's in there. There's no nose. I, did I just pour an empty? Am I gone colorblind or something? I just poured myself water? There's really no nose. Like, it's this to like 90% less. That's weird. It's It's gone flat. What did I just pour myself? Did I mix up bottles? This tastes nothing like this. I am so confused right now. Instantly, the rye is still there, but I'm getting like pummeled in the ground by oak. Like that strong oak note. That sweetness has kind of gone away. It's still there, but it's dialed back. It used to be like a 12, and now it's like a five. So you still get a bit of that sweetness. And the, the um, rye is still showing up a bit on there, but that oak note is really jumped to the forefront. And you're still getting a bit of that chocolatey note, but the caramel note is kind of dissipated. I, I uh, again, I it would have I would have thought it was two different whiskeys. If you're interested in this, I think the neat is the way to go. I think on uh, with that little bit of water just changes it too, too far away from what the, I was thinking it was going to be. Because that oak really dominates now. I was actually enjoying the rye flavoring on this one. And that bit of sweetness at the end was Canadian-like. And you still get a bit of that sweetness on the back end, but nothing like this one. I think neat's the way to go on this one. As always, it doesn't matter what you drink or how you drink it, as long as you enjoy it. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it definitely, this screams Canadian. If you've never tried Canadian whiskey, you've probably come close to this. So let's talk about market value. As we all know, market value is market value. I was able to pick this up for $32. I've seen it go as high as $40 on reservebar.com. I am, um, and I haven't really, I've seen it sometimes shy at that $30 price point. 
it's interesting to a certain degree. It, you know, even if you just say it's Drake's brand, like that's an interesting enough concept to me that makes me go, I want to try it. Um, that sweetness, caramel goodness that's on that finish is really stinking good. If you like sweet whiskeys, if you don't like sweet whiskeys, you're not a fan of those kind of things. This is not for you. Even with that little bit of water, I still don't think it is even that price point. I think that you'd be better off on a lot of different bottlings for that price of $30 plus to find something you like more or less. So yeah, there you have it. Virginia Black blended whiskey. Uh, pretty solid buy. I think it's okay. I'm, I probably won't pick up another bottle, but I'll definitely uh, end up keeping the bottle just because how cool it looks. If you have any questions about it, let me know down in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer them. If you have a specific spirit that you would like me to review, let me know down in the comment section below as well. I will do my best to look for it. If it's something that I might be interested in or find it fun or exciting or different, I'm always on the hunt for something along those lines. So as always, may your last drink of the night be the best one.